Hello and welcome to the PFSense 2.3 feature video for the dashboard. The dashboard on PFSense 2.3 operates in much the same way as previous versions, though the mechanics of working the dashboard have evolved. The dashboard contains a few widgets to start with, and users who upgraded from a previous version will still have all of the base system dashboard widgets where they were before. To add a new dashboard widget, click the plus button at the end of the row with the breadcrumbs, and the available widgets panel will be displayed. The list of widgets is sorted alphabetically by row. Click the name of a widget to add it to the dashboard. The widget will appear on the dashboard at the end of the last column, and the configuration is saved automatically. To minimize a widget so that only its title bar is shown, click the minus button in the widget title bar, and then click the save button that appears in the breadcrumb bar. To expand the widget so that it will remain visible again, click the plus button in the widget title bar, and then save in the breadcrumb bar once again. To remove a widget, simply click the X on its title bar, and it will be removed, and the configuration is stored automatically. To move a widget, simply click on its title bar and drag it to the new position. The other widgets will move out of the way automatically. When you are done repositioning the widgets, click the Save button in the breadcrumb bar. If a widget has settings, click the wrench in its title bar to view the settings, make the desired changes, and then click Save Settings. The dashboard has a configurable number of columns to better utilize large screens, and it will shrink to fit a single column of widgets on smaller screens. The number of columns can be adjusted under System, General Setup, in the Web Configurator section using the Dashboard Columns option. At the moment, you can have a maximum of four columns. Also here under the Web Configurator section, there is an option to change the top navigation. It can be changed so that it remains visible at the top of the page, so it follows the user as they scroll, as you can see here. Or it can be set to scroll away with the page so that it, it, it will stay up at the top and it falls out of view when you scroll down. The default behavior is to scroll with the page so that smaller browser windows can reach all options in the menu. As seen here, the menu follows the user, but due to the small screen size, the full diagnostics menu is not visible. Whereas if we change this to scrolls with page, The menu stays at the top of the screen, and we can now reach the entire diagnostics menu. That's all there is for the dashboard. Thanks for watching.